police pulled over these youths. And to me, this is harassment. They're stressing the youths. And it's wrong. If you pay attention to it, listen to it, and see what these policemen are on about and the way they're carrying on. That little one who's trying to put on the handcuffs, he's definitely a bully. He's a bully. Look how he's carrying on. Look how he's acting. They're taking the piss. They're harassing the youth. That little one there. He's a bully. He's all up in the youth face. Suppose in the youth head button. What would he have said? He's all in the youth's face. You hear about social distancing. And he's just being aggressive and harassing. That you could have eaten him alive, but the youth decided not to. And he would have all been the cause of all of it because he agitated the situation to where it gets to. That little policeman there. He agitated the situation. That one there. He's all up in the youth's face. I think he was bullied when he was a teenager, when he was in school, so that's why he's a bully now. So he went and take the police work to be a bully. But he's harassing the black youths. That is police harassment. What's all this? What's this? Mm. Wait, just, just, I'm okay, I'm not touching him, I'm not touching you. Yeah, I can talk, but why? I need to get this. You understand? You understand? You can record. Yeah. yeah. But you can't obstruct the search. Just I'm not obstructing the search. I'm nowhere near him. Just stay here, he's fine. Yeah, I'm nowhere near him. I need to. I'm saying it's. He's my phone, bro. Just stay in safe distance, yeah? You can, you can see plenty of social support, don't you? So what? You want to smash the phone? For what reason? Why are you misusing your power? No, no. So what? What's he doing now? He doesn't need to hold my phone. Look, he's holding my phone. I'm giving my phone to my friend. Can I speak? Can I speak? No, he's not speaking. Who's he calling? Fucking liar. No, I want to. Okay, I want to record on the phone. Right. So you're telling me that I can't record on the phone? So can I have the phone then? No, you cannot take my phone. Please speak to me. No harm to George. Yeah, I haven't even asked you. You are saying you're trying to detain him. Okay, I'm not detaining. I'm talking to you online. Okay. Can I get in frame? Well, I can see you. Yeah, I'm not stopping you. That's what I was trying to do. You tried to take me. So what? I can't take. I'm not these. Okay. Can you? Sorry. Okay. Can you connect the phone for me, please? And pass the. Oh, what, sorry? Pass the phone so I can record you. No, yo, G, G, give it to my man. I'm going to cut it off him. Because you tried to say I was making a phone call. He's a liar. Listen, I've been lying. My friend, just relax. I don't know anybody. Nah, because it's annoying, man. Look, we're not even supposed to be this close to everybody. You're not close to this person. You're this close to me. You're with my friend. Well, Ken, he is, because you're not social distancing. He's in... You pulled us over. Where did you... Let me even get my kicks on. Because this ain't making no sense. Just chill, yeah. I know it's difficult. It's a difficult situation. I'm not enjoying this anymore. You hit the window. You hit the window. Tried to smash the window. You're not going to pay for it if you smash it. Did you hit the window with a cush? Of course you did. You tried to threaten to smash the window, my brother. Just chill, yeah. I know it's difficult. I'm not enjoying this anymore. You are, my friend. No, but you see what you need to understand. You're telling me to chill. Where, where the ones being harassed? He just said. He just said. He packed the window with a cush. What did I just say? We can't get into this. Yeah. They haven't asked them any questions. Who are they? What is their name? What are their address? Where are they from? They haven't asked them any of that. But that little short ginger headed one is being such a I don't even know what to call him. Just let them do the job and we'll be on our way. He's a little bully. You didn't make it seem like it was gonna be on our way. He don't deserve to be collecting collecting our tax money. I'm working too hard to be paying him for being out there harassing my, my, my brothers and sisters. I don't need to 
did, then he threatened to smash the window. That's what we're getting at. No, I'm not saying you. He threatened, whatever his name is, he threatened to smash the window. You can't do that. Would you like to take a step this way with me? You won't be honest. Well, obviously, you it's within his world and your right to you, but just let, let them do what they're doing. I'm, I'm not because of your attitude, bro. I have no reason. I'm in my car. I have no reason. You approached the whole thing wrong. You approached the whole thing wrong. You can't do that. And I'm not saying that. I've got nothing against I haven't got nothing against this gentleman here. I haven't got nothing against him. It's this idiot here. It's not fair. He's got a problem. His woman never gave him none last night. So he tried to take it to the job. But the thing is, you're saying we're transparent in what we do. He is not wearing a body cam. He threatened to... No, no, but he was at the car. He never had a body cam. He had already tapped the window before the body cam. So if he smashed the window now, it's our word against his. And we're losing out in that situation because you've got the badge. No, that's how it works. That's how it works. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's let's be honest now. If there is no body cam footage and we say he smashed the window because he had no reason to, you're not going to take our word for it because there's no footage. No, no, no. I don't believe that. I'm allowed to. You you not gonna, you're not going to say that he smashed it for no reason. You're not going to come and say, oh, my colleague came and smashed their window for no reason. He had no right. To. You're not doing that. If it was different, if I didn't stop or whatever, I didn't. I didn't he needs to get back out of the man's face. That little the policeman there, he's a little prick. I've been recording for over six minutes. It's the first time anyone's been asked what anyone's name is. I'm going to ask, I'm going to find out what's going on there. If you just stay respectful, this is the way. Are you having a chat with me for this? Yeah, that's fine. I ain't got nothing with you. I ain't got nothing on me. You waited for a bit. I was watching you in the lights. We saw from how Right, I'm PC Haynes, okay? How are you doing? Hold on. Right, so your view, so what happened there? So, what are you unhappy with? I'm going to get a copy regardless. We got pulled over. We saw when you lot saw us. We saw from where you were parked. You lot were parked over there. And we saw when you lot saw us. We saw from where you were parked. You lot were parked over there. As soon as you pulled out, we said, yep, these lot are going to come and disturb us. We carried on going. You pulled us over. This gentleman here came with no body cam footage, said, we need to come speak to you. Did you drugs. Well, listen, I'll put it, he ain't got if, body cam and he wants to smash the window. That's what I'm that's, saying. That's Charles, Charles, listen, it, look, if, it, if it's coming across that way, I apologise if, if you feel like it's coming that way. Our aim is to not come across as being, you know, abrupt straight away. Yeah. You understand that, yeah? We, at the end of the day, we do a dangerous job, okay? You understand, you understand that, yeah? We They're talking a bunch of shit. You know, doing our shit. Everybody does a dangerous job. But he was trying to be a hero when he run up to a car on his own. And then try to break the mind glass. Look at him. Look at him over there. See ya. What is that? Cigarette butt. Yeah, so we, you know, we never know who we come across in this shit, mm -hmm. okay? So we come across potentially dangerous people, Actually, hence why the cuffs are on straight away, okay? Because you to, when we spoke to you, it was got raised voices, people were like, oh, what's going on? We don't know yeah, that's because you're yeah. That's why the raised voices. You, you need to understand, if you've called us over, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you've made the first interaction, am I right? Yes or no? It's agreed, yeah. Okay, cool. So our response is coming yeah. from your reaction. I haven't been irate with you. I haven't been irate with this gentleman here or this gentleman here. He's been speaking to me calmly throughout the whole thing. Yeah. This gentleman here is the only public person we've had an okay. issue with. Okay, I understand that. That's the but only. If you got an issue, if you got an issue with a certain police officer, yeah. For the other two are good. You can't report it because all y'all are gonna do is wipe it under the rug. All y'all is the same. Detaining my friend. Okay, fair enough. So do you get what I mean? So he's the person. He's the person that's okay. leading everything, and that's the way we're looking at it. And the way he's approached, he's approached like he's got an agenda. Whatever that agenda is, maybe you haven't got enough. You haven't stopped enough people brings today. Back, this brings me back to my point earlier on. No, 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 I said that. Earlier on, about. That's what we, try to do. we do this job we do is dangerous. We don't know who we come, who we come across yeah. every single day. Okay, maybe certain, certain police officers have certain more experience than certain other police officers. Okay. They've seen a lot more. Okay. So they, they know what potentially could happen. Yeah, okay. understand that. Hence why maybe the um, 
interaction mm -hmm. was a bit abrupt at the beginning because we never know who we're going to come across. Okay. Okay. Understand that? Yeah. Now, if it's come across in a very negative way, then we mm -hmm. apologise for that. Mm -hmm. That's what we don't mean to. We try to, you know, engage with everyone as positive as possible, yeah? That's a bunch so, of bullshit. So taking yeah, a piss. Yeah. If that's the case, why is he the only one in cuffs? Exactly. Two of you in the car and they only handcuff one. So why did they okay, so not handcuff the other one? Because he's the driver, they handcuff him. So what about the passenger? He could have taken off running. He could have been the one with everything. Idiots, you're taking the piss and target the black youths. That's all, all that is. Look at him. You look like a Teletubby. Um, Real so toy soldier. Mm -hmm. right now, yeah? mm -hmm. okay, so I don't feel... I feel... Okay, I get stabbed. But some, you know... He obviously didn't feel comfortable in this fashion. Like that, that's what the cuffs I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, because because we're, he's actually high rate. We don't know who's got what. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. Yeah, we don't know if he's going to attack my colleague or what. Yeah, but you, I, I understand what you're saying, yeah? Okay, yeah, he could attack your colleague. Yes. But if you know that there's potential danger, you have to approach that situation with caution. You can't approach that situation head first like a bully and expect there not to be no resistance. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point as well. I get that. However, yeah. for example, I'm not saying you have it. It sounds like you had a knife that car. Mm -hmm. You know where that knife is. We mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. So you have the advantage. That's why we got that quickly. Otherwise, something oh, No, but in that okay. So in that case, that's yeah, chat in a bunch of rubbish. Okay, let's just say there's a knife in a car now, and yeah. no one knows where it is. Yeah. Why are you approaching by yourself? Mm. You're supposed to wait for your colleagues. Wait, so right, that's it. No, no. When he was wait. at the car, he came by himself. He came by himself because he didn't pull the window all the way down. Yes. I, I don't know. If why he pulled the stopped. window all the way down and he had a knife and he stabbed your colleague, different. Yeah. That's different. Mm. But yeah. that would have been because your, your colleague approached. Trying the car to be a trying to be a hero. If you know that potential, no, because you've no, got to look at it. If I'm a, okay, if I now want to approach that Uber there, yeah. and I know that potentially there could be a knife in that Uber, why am so I going to me? approach it by myself? You're asking for my ID so you can take the details, please. Or him? Yeah, he's got my ID. You like to that? Yeah. Can you get ID from Why am I going to approach it by myself? There's a way to do things. The way he approached the situation was wrong. Sir? To be honest, sir, he wasn't intimidated by any knife because the way he came. I'm not saying I'm, 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 I'm just saying. The way he of course came, he wasn't. He, of he, course he, he wasn't. wasn't. He came like he went to bully somebody. This is his right. He's got a bully band with him. He, he came, man, started like, gritting try, teeth, try, trying to say, you're you, 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 like, nah, I, man. Like I said, I'm probably. You are wrong. wrong. You're wrong in that situation. I'm joking. But I don't know why you're acting like this because I haven't done anything wrong. Like I said, like I said, to Charles here. You look like a little leprechaun. Tell it, Tubby. Obviously, Try to look like, bigger yeah. than his boots. Everyone's got different walks of life. Everyone's experienced different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everyone acts differently. At the end of the day, safety is the most important thing. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah exactly. So we're protecting ourselves. Mm -hmm. And now, gone from, from 100 down to zero now, haven't we? Yeah, so okay, we so all you're saying you're protecting yourselves, but you're pro really supposed to protect and yourself. Obviously, and you as well. Uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. The public as well. The way he approached that situation, you weren't thinking about our safety. I don't, I don't need to step out the car. Yeah, I don't know why you're taking me or why you're coming. You don't, I don't need to. Uh, I'm the way he approached that situation, you weren't thinking about our safety to, first. No, he was, no, he was thinking about obviously him. Have I been aggressive to you from inside the car? Because um, your friend was... I was I Yeah, he doesn't need to come out of the vehicle, though. That's No, I don't even need to come out. I come out the vehicle so it doesn't turn into anything. No, but... Did, did my colleague ask for okay. ID, for example? No, he told him to come out of the car first before even asking for ID. He didn't ask his name, he didn't ask anything. And he didn't have body cam as well, that's what we were saying. Okay, that's, that's, pretty, that's his decision, I, I can't... Make, but, you're saying that's his, him, but you're saying that's his decision, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. In that so they're allowed to turn the cameras off and on when they feel like. And you approach them and say, get out of the car, come on, I want to talk to you. That's the point, we didn't know. Oh, uh, we, we, we didn't know. Oh, exactly, you didn't know, but you know there's a possibility. Exactly, so you're telling someone to come out of the car. They're chatting a bunch of rubbish. You said potentially could have a knife. Yeah. You don't know, but you're telling it to come out of the car, and you're talking about drugs. So in that situation, if you're talking about drugs first, mm -hmm. if you're talking about drugs first and you had the... If that was the case, okay, this was a drug car. Okay, yeah. And there was a knife in there. The way he approached that situation, if he got harmed, he's in the wrong. Yes, he got harmed, but you approached it wrong because you should have waited for your colleagues to see if it was safe enough before you encounter who's in the car. Okay. What if this turned into a high speed chase and there was somebody else that got... Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's your opinion. And also we got ours. We got, we got so you don't want to hear his opinion. Hopefully, you know, the right, right, right ways, but you know, we're living and learning, mate. Okay. All right. Well, this has been an incident. Okay. 
Howdy. Yeah. Howdy, sir. Howdy, sir. How old am I? 23. So what, no apology, no nothing? For, for, for doing but a shit job? You're supposed to be saying, you're supposed to be looking after. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. Doing my, you're supposed to be doing your you job. You see what you're... That's piss-taking.